Hey, looking out over the Twin States, you can see that wind blowing really well there in Livingston and again here in Meridian. We're about to see that line of storms move through. West Point's already seen some of that rainfall, and here is that line of storms again moving through the uh, moving through right now through East Mississippi. And again, these storms really popped up along that front and have moved quickly from west to east straight across the Twin States. And we're again about to see the impact of these storms over the next couple of hours here. Here is that cold front. It's going all the way stretching through Alabama and Mississippi. Earlier on, you can see the intensity of these storms. I had some reports from some of my fellow students back in Mississippi State. They had some power flickers in Starkville, especially with some of the winds with the with this line of storms. So we could see some of that again here in Meridian as we go over the next couple of hours and we're actually going to take a little bit of a closer zoomed in look at these storms again. Here we are here in Meridian again. They're going to come across through the region really rapidly over the next couple of hours. We'll see this line of storms again really start to track through, bring the heavy rain and the strong winds as we go over the next couple of hours. But by the time we get to about eight, nine o'clock, all of the rainfall will be done, but we are still going to watch for those winds throughout the night tonight. So you can see the divide along the temperatures here, 62 off to the northwest, whereas still down here in Meridian, 74, 71 still in Philadelphia, and that is going to rapidly be changing again over the next couple of hours with this cold front progressing through. There's that humidity as well out front. We're still in the middle 60s with those dew points changing. Again, as you go off towards the northwest, just behind the front, and I talked about those winds as part of the story with this front moving through. We're already starting to see this pick up 13 miles an hour here in Meridian, but again off behind it. We're starting to see those winds 20 to 25 mile an hour sustained and gusting upwards of 30 to 40 right along that front. So here's the temperatures again across the southeast. We see that divide clearly Memphis 52 also 52 in Little Rock still in the 70s out ahead of this front and then as well with the change in the dew points much drier air in behind dew points in the 30s and 40s. So we'll see that change as we go forward over the next couple of hours and through the night tonight. You're going to have to trade those shorts back in for the heavier coats as we end out the weekend tomorrow. So again, tracking this rainfall, here's what's left of that line of storms by about 7 o'clock here in just a little while, also closer to 8 o'clock. Most of those storms are going to be off into portions of West Alabama, mainly out of our hair here in Mississippi. And again, that's it for the rainfall, but we'll keep those sustained winds up throughout the night, dropping down into those upper 30s as we wake up for Sunday keeping the sunny skies around, but those temperatures aren't really going to warm up much tomorrow. We'll talk about that in just a second. And then we keep the sunny skies around all the way into your Monday morning and Monday afternoon as well. This is going to be a nice sunny start to our week right in behind this cold front. So the rest of the here's that track of that rain here for the rest of that scattered showers continuing still till about nine o'clock. I think we could still see a stray shower, but being done by about 11 dropping down again to 39 degrees. Skies clearing out later on as well with those cl the cloud cover staying breezy and staying cold as well for the day tomorrow. Only getting up to 59 could see some spots getting just above that 60 degree mark and again staying windy, feeling very brisk for us. You're going to need that heavier jacket as you're headed out to church tomorrow and through the rest of your Sunday. Then we warm it back up Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday with a straight chance of a stray shower as another system makes its way in. But by the time we get to Thanksgiving, it's going to be a nice one. We're going to be chilly down in the 50s once again, but it's going to be a pretty nice turkey day for us here this year and then going into Black Friday and also next Saturday.